Chair, great pleasure to rise and speak on the taxation and rates and budget measures bill. Uh, a very learned discourse from the member opposite on the relative mar latte, merits of lattes in uh, Grayland, Newland and possibly St Mary's Bay. Very brief discussion about taxes, but he did mention at one stage, Mr Speaker, that yes, the default position, he wants to raise taxes. What? Can you believe this? He wants to raise taxes. Well, I, I can actually, because that seems to be the default position of his leader as well. Uh, Mr. Goff, Mr. Phil Goff, or who, who we incidentally heard make the breathtaking assertion, the breathtaking assertion uh, earlier in the House today that the global financial crisis had finished in 2009. Had finished in 2009, Mr. Chair. Now, what is happening in Portugal? What is happening in Ireland? Seems to have completely missed the radar. Greece, Spain. He seems to be completely unaware of the EU bailout or, in fact, the IMF bailout masterminded by DSK before he himself bailed out. Um, billions of dollars in quantitative easing, uh, Mr Chair. Tax, borrow, spend, hope. Tax, borrow, spend and hope seems to be, once again, the default position of the Labour Party. We heard, we heard Mr Phil Goff confirmed they haven't learnt. They haven't learnt. Punitive, pusillanimous, pathetic is their politics of envy as once again they want to hit the 13% of New Zealanders, the 13% of New Zealanders who pay over 50% of tax in this country. 13% of New Zealanders. They want to wallop the wealth creators, evict the entrepreneurs, bash the businessmen and women. Men and women who are so crucial, Order. Mr Chair, in growing. Order. The member knows he can't be on his feet interjecting. Dr Cam Calder. Who's so crucial in growing the economic cake for the benefit of the most vulnerable New Zealanders. Mr Chair, our tax changes, our tax changes, Mr Chair, will provide more money for hard-working New Zealanders. We heard this afternoon from the Prime Minister three quarters of New Zealanders, three quarters of New Zealanders pay a top marginal tax rate of only 17.5%. International, international pressures of food and petrol tax reforms have allowed after-tax wages to go up faster than the cost of living, Mr, Mr. Chair. Wages have gone up 7.1% in real terms. If my memory serves me well, Mr Speaker, in the last blighted nine years of the previous administration, real, real wages went up 3%. 3% in nine years, Mr Chair. As a result of our tax changes, a typical married couple on super has seen their, their um, income increase by $166, $166 a fortnight. These are the married couple. Almost 20% over the last three years, 8.5% if adjusted for inflation, Mr Chairman. Mr. Mr Chairman, interest rates have fallen dramatically to their lowest level since 1964. Our tax rates have put more money in the pocket of hard-working New Zealanders. I commend this bill to the House. <coughs> Call your